Well, what's going on, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. Today, we're starting the build process on our first abandoned project. We're here with Rockstar Garage, Jeremy, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about the story of this particular vehicle that we're going to. Take a look at what we got going on here. We're in the MDX today. I maybe go outside the window and take a look at where he's bringing me. Where are you gonna find a car that actually still runs? And what car is this, Jeremy? So it's basically a 96 Yukon. Uh, back in the day, it was called a GMC truck. Right. Uh, it's a friend of mine, longtime friend of mine, high school friend of mine. His father basically, ha he ran into, probably about seven to 10 years ago, he ran into trouble with the brake system or something like that. And it kind of coincided with him, you know, being a good time for him to not drive too much anymore. So they basically parked the truck. Okay, so he lives around here? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, they, they parked the truck out of the way. I believe they occasionally would start it just to make sure that, you know, oil and stuff like that would, yeah. like, circulate or whatever. You said I know. put a battery in it, right? Well, when it got to the point where he said, listen, I'd like to get this thing out of here before it has any major rust or anything like that, he did mention that we'd maybe throw a battery in it, an alternator, stuff like that, uh, just to be sure that we could fire it up. Well, look what we're going through, this rough terrain. I Thank God this is a lease because I don't know where you're bringing me, but I'm seeing it now. That's a Chevy what? Uh, it's a GMC Yukon, the equivalent of a Chevy Suburban. Back in the day, they didn't have the Escalade yet, so those were the only two models. I right. mean, sorry, uh, Chevy Tahoe. Okay. The Suburban would have been the longer one, which right. would have been obviously the Yukon XL eventually, but back then in 96, they didn't have that either yet. How long has it been abandoned for? Uh, or it's off got, the road? okay, off the road, I would say, I was told it's between seven and 10 years. The last known service done on it was about 10 years ago. So I don't know that it was driven much after that. Let's go check it out. Let's check it out. So if you don't know where we're at, we're in South Florida in what is the Everglades. And it seems like a place to dump cars. It also seems like a place to dump other things, bodies. Hopefully not. So <laughs> let's go and check this out. Jeremy, let me get the camera because I think you saw the car in pictures before. And yeah, I hadn't taken a really good look, look at, at it. it. Okay. No, I did have a I do have a key for it. And so make sure you're not wearing sandals. <laughs> Real Florida man. Oh man. What do they call this? Sawgrass, some of this? I don't think this so. This is not sawgrass, this no. is just regular grass. Um so I was told it should fire right up. It, it isn't okay. it's an old school um Old school Chevy 350, so it's a, a cast iron block and everything, so it's very robust. Look at this thing. Wow, the mirror. The wheels are still, tires are still good. Maybe it came over here and popped some air in them. Yeah, he told, when he did the battery and stuff like that, I believe they did put some air in the tires just to make sure it wouldn't stay stuck in ruts. Okay. Dirty butt. Old school, man. That man, blue cloth. It's funny when you when we were younger, you gotta have leather. And now the older I get, I think it's cool to have the blue cloth interior. Yeah. Double benches, still seat six. You still have room to put stuff all the way in the back. Wow, look at that. They don't make them dig like this anymore, like this boxy. The funny thing is, is we also have a 2015 Suburban, and yeah. honestly, side by side, body wise, they look very similar. Like, so what I really want to plan to do with this is, I want to kind of rebuild it not rebuild it but repaint it i don't want to go insanely crazy with it i want a new paint job and that guy over there is starting his youtube channel he's already got 500 subscribers and we're going to root him on because he's really good mechanically cleaning things up really overhauling vehicles he's like the jack of all trades so but i'm very shy so he's that's shy. Really, yeah that's the problem rockstar garage <laughs> make sure you follow him we'll put the link in the description and root him on go over to the page if he sees that we get over a thousand subscribers right away he's going to start making videos on overhauling this and he's going to be in a lot of these videos because well we're going to be repainting this whole thing i got to show you take a look at the go up there before we start her up what is that that is mildew, Ooh, that that's... is crack paint, that is a lot of work. So I'm going to tell you right now, I think this was, even if it sat for 10 years. Look at this, no rust. When was the last time it was washed? When was the last time it was washed <laughs> other than the rain? Kidding me? Yeah, there's a little bit of, I mean, I guess at some point the base started splitting, right? Is that what this is? Yeah, it's cracking. This, to do it right, I have to go down to metal. I mean, right. that's a lot of work, but you know what? This is a great series because on my channel, we don't rebuild Lamborghinis and Ferraris. We rebuild stuff that 
the everyday person's gonna find in their backyard or maybe just an old school project. So that's what I kind of like about it. But uh, let's pop the engine, uh, the, the hood, engine and then we'll see if it, uh, if it if starts. It'll fire up. Yeah. Look at it. Wow. So it was maintained. It was, it was maintained. It's just dirty and I wouldn't even say neglected, so to speak, but new alternators in there, new battery. So at least electrical components are good. Uh, I believe I'm going to have to address pretty much everything. Well, we're going to see on your channel. If we'll you, see. We'll, we'll, okay. Check that. You want to see something cool? Yeah. Check this out. Oh, way. Because they knew they would break down, huh? I don't know, but they give you the option to be able to, on the oh side of the road, God, use your flashlight. That. You can see all the leaves and everything's just been sitting, and thankfully, I don't see any rust right now. Um, go ahead and start it up, let's pull it, it out, and okay. then let's take a closer look at it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> he's definitely been here, and he's definitely... He's definitely, the owner probably started it not long ago because. Had to have, but yeah. from what he told me, for as long as it sat between, yeah. it fired right up. It even is, an, it's not yeah. even lumpy in the idle. The window motors work. The what? Look at that, the window motors work. Really? I mean. That type of stuff just goes bad. This is 20, this is a 25 year old vehicle. Let's pull it out. I was a little bummed because I thought it could get antique plate, but I think you have to wait till 30 years. Look at this thing. <laughs> this is so Jeremy. This it is, is so, so the type me. of car look you would get. It is so me. Wow. So it actually runs well. Uh, we'll get into the paint in a moment, but what's your plans looking at it? New wheels, tires, you're gonna put a lift on it? So it's right now, it's a leaf spring rear torsion bar front. So it's actually extremely easy to lift or lower. I feel like all of my vehicles end up low on the ground and stuff like that. I kind of want to keep this one where I have the ability to drive over things. Like, you know, when you go to a grocery store and you have to pull out of the spot backward, yeah. I want to be able to pull out forward. Okay. You want to like, go over the stump. Over the stump. Right. 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 So, so I want to be able rules. to do that finally. Do we have a broken um, lock? No, I think it automatically locks when, actually, yes, I'm sure we do. It automatically locks when, there. All right. It automatically locks when you put it in drive. Wow. So I guess that feature works, which I got to figure out how to disable. I love the blue. It's just error correct. It's error correct. And with the right combination, I think it would look excellent. Yeah. You know, my um, mom had a Chevy Lumina uh, minivan as a kid. Same color? Same exact cluster. I'm not surprised. Same radio, same everything. Your mom's a classy woman. Well, you know, hey. Yeah. yeah. And AC? AC, no. I'm going to assume the blower still works, stuff like that. I'm going to assume uh, probably Freon probably leaked out of the O-ring. Uh, I'll tell you right now, electrical system mainly is done. I'm sure I'll have to do the cooling system because it's all rusty and it was filled yeah. with water. Shifter. Look at the shifter. That is actually the 4x4 manual shift, which nobody has anymore. Wow. You want to take the time. I mean, listen, they don't make stuff thick like that anymore. You know, working at the, on our vehicles at Acura, the fender, they're as light as paper. Right. Because they have to do with the gas mileage sure. and all that. They look, lighten they, up the car as much yeah. as possible. The irony is they take away all that weight in the body and then they put it back in with electronics and safety <laughs> features. So it ends up weighing. I guarantee you the weight on a new SUV is close to this. Yeah. You know, 25 years later. So we have, uh, I can pop the back if you want to take a look yeah. back there. Let me turn off this light so it can stop annoying us. So then it looks like the back's been sitting against, I guess, that area for a while and just got a whole bunch of Yeah, mold it's got in. lichen and mold and all sorts of stuff. It's a split window system. Okay. They also had a, you know, they had the barn doors that would right. open side by side. I remember that. Right. So I, I personally, I really like the barn doors, but they have a tendency, I believe, to leak. So right. these, the clamshells technically Everything looks, better. Look at no rust. No, even the, wow, the dampeners still work. Look, well, yeah, yeah Florida, still. Florida cars. Florida know. car. It just needs love. It needs to have, sh I, I plan to do a full detail, clean it up, the door yeah. jams, everything. I think on the thing. next episode, we get together, we completely get this thing clean, see sure. what we're working on. Do like with. a little time lapse yeah. action or something. Yeah. Just Listen, sh sh quickly shampoo the carpets, brush it out. When this is cleaned up, I think it's going to look really, really excellent. Yeah. Right? And then. So let's talk a little bit about the paint. So in regards to the paint, what I love about this is it's all there. Like this isn't gonna be a show car when we're done and we don't want it to be a show car. This is gonna be a fun project, a group of guys working on it that may have never touched paint before. And well, we're gonna pretty much just go at it and we're gonna learn from it. 
And I was I reached out to Eastwood because uh, Eastwood's always been great to me. And I said, hey, you want to be part of this building? No problem, right away. So we need ideas because if you go over to Eastwood, uh, their website, they got a whole bunch of color swatches, and we'll do single, uh, we'll do excuse me, base coat and clear coat. But Jeremy and I have been kind of deciding, you know, I've seen the schemes of these and they run a stripe down the middle, like a wide stripe, two-tone. And then some of them will just do the bottom one color and the rest of the vehicle another. And some will do the roof. What kind of uh, design element do we want to put with this? We don't know. Do we want to restore it to a classic look or do we want to have fun with it? Because, well, Jeremy, I think you got this car. It was gifted to you. It was. It was. So at this point we we just want to have fun with it like there's no expectation necessarily so yeah the door jams won't be painted things will be taped off but in the end this is going to look a hundred times better this is a car that's not gonna have a beautiful show car finish and we're okay with that but we actually don't want it we to don't want it to because you want to still be able to drive out into yeah. the the areas like this and go off-roading a bit well the one thing we're not going to do because a lot of people didn't like is we're not a plastic dip it. we're definitely not <laughs> because a lot of people don't like that you know for whatever reason but that's fine i'll tell you why in addition to that although plastic dip has its place and i really am happy with how the wagon came out overall yeah. when you drive plastic dip down a trail and you run into branches and stuff like that it that scratches that won't be buffed out yeah. it'll scratch or it'll pull it off listen jeremy is wild and crazy look around here as we pan around he's going to bring this car back to the same exact place when this series actually ends what we're going to do is we're going to take this vehicle we're gonna park it in the same exact spot. All right, now this this actual series is gonna have many episodes on my channel as well as Rockstar Garage, so make sure you check that out. So what we're gonna to do to end this video is we're gonna take it, not off-roading, but we're gonna take it back through that trail. I don't know when the last time it went through there. Could have been years, because I know he comes out to service it, so uh, let's we'll give go, it a shot. We'll give it a shot. We're gonna go ahead and send this thing out of here. So let's go a little bit of mild off-roading. And I think it's time that we get out of here before I end up on some sort of murder documentary series being out here. I'd be more worried about the encephalitis from the mosquitoes, actually. Yeah, well, whatever that is. <laughs> At any rate, guys, I'm super excited for this vehicle right here. We know we have a lot of work ahead of us and we'll see it in person. Yeah, there is a ton of work, but we're gonna learn a lot together. And well, we're gonna learn on Jeremy's channel as well. So we get him over a thousand subscribers. He's really gonna start to get excited and make a lot more videos. And well, I think we're going to have fun with this one. So We will have fun. Yeah. So anyways, guys, this is Brian and Jeremy from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it. It's just paint. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Uh -huh.